Hi, hey, sexy J, quick and dirty time, vocab, because y'all been asking for it, and we're doing the advanced vocab questions. That doesn't necessarily just mean that the words are harder, they are, but we need a little bit more strategy, okay? So when we do these things, just focus on this one thing. We are going to be looking at, are they going to be opposite? Ew, why is the marker so weak? Sorry, guys, let me switch, to, yeah, there we go. Opposite or similar. What I mean by that is there will be a third category that I do in the next video, but the majority of the vocab questions fall into two categories. I'm looking for a word that is either a synonym of what was already said in the text, or it is the antonym or the opposite of what I saw in the text. So I want to look for, am I going in the similar direction as the other words, or am I shifting directions? That is my number one step. So let's look here. Are we going to be looking for same direction or the opposite direction? And once I notice that, you guys see here, these words are not the highest level of vocab, but um, I would argue subversive should let you know that this is not a beginner, beginner question, right? It's in the advanced question. And then it's not just that. If you look here, uh, do I have a highlighter? I do. Luminous. And what else do we have? Elicited. We have cryptic. Yeah. Phenomenon. Fancy sounding. So the text itself is not level one, right? It's not beginner level. So then I said, we're going to be looking for either same direction or opposite direction, right? Is there a shift? When I see that it is a higher level vocab question, it is much more likely to be shifting. It's much more likely to be opposite direction, okay? So I do have a bit of a clue uh, because of the highlighted parts, okay? And then the next thing is who? The other thing that raises difficulty with the advanced vocab questions is that there's more than one party involved, as in there's group A who think blank, and then there's group B who think something else. So it's really easy to miss and mix up those groups. So let's look here. There are two groups of people here. We have appealing to viewers. So I know viewers like them, but then, but, there we go. We're always on the lookout for that. But, however, some type of contrast, okay? They have gotten little commentary from the critics. So what do I have? The viewers like it. They like. And then the critics don't. That's what I have, okay? So then am I looking for the critics or the viewers? Let's see. A phenomenon that may be due to the very fact that the painting seems so blank. Many critics focus their attention on art that is cryptic or overly challenging. And this is where the challenge for this question comes in. So you go, okay, so the critics don't like it, and then the phenomenon is due to the fact that the painting seems something negative. But is this going to be something negative? Well, you don't know. And in fact, if you look at the answer choices here, A, B, C, D, none of them are negative, and this is where people get stumped. Like, oh, I thought the critics didn't like this painting then why do I not have a negative answer? Because here the critics are weird. Okay, the critics are weird. And that's another background idea if you guys watch from the other vocab series, right? If I have an art movement or artists, we're going to be positive towards the artist. So these guys are hating on some art, right? So these guys are kind of weird. So let's look here. The critics focused their attention on, so they like. What kind of art do they like? They like the art that is cryptic. And what about this thing? They don't like it. Okay, so they like the cryptic stuff, so they do not like the non-cryptic. And then the vocab comes in. Not really, though, because like, oh, I don't know cryptic. We have the word challenging, right? So then I know they like the cryptic or challenging. So what do they not like? The opposite. Only one of these words, only one of these words is the opposite of challenging, which is accessible. So there we have it. That's our answer. Answer is B. Now, if I break this down, if you were to jump right on it, and if you were, you know, getting a lot of reps in through practice, you would go, okay, so the critics, they like the cryptic and the challenging, so they would not like the accessible, and you're done. And that's B, okay? But what if I was not on that train of thought? That's why I'm breaking down the advanced question, right? Notice here that A and D are the common positive things we say about the artist. Because digital SAT, they have caught on to the fact that we have caught on to their patterns. So innovative and subversive, they both mean you're doing things super, super differently. And that's normally the good thing we like about the artist. So they put them in there as trap answers so that you're like, oh, it's an art passage. I've seen those as answers before. So that's a trap, okay? Now, how can I avoid that trap? 
innovative and subversive, because they're so close in meaning, I cannot pick either of them, okay? So pick the answer that stands out. So we have innovative and subversive, they're out. Profound would mean that it is very deep, okay? So then it would be, they like art that is challenging, so they don't like things that are deep, that makes absolutely no sense, okay? So we have to go opposite of the word cryptic or challenging. So let me clear the board here for you guys and break down today's advanced topic. So notice here, there are a lot of ways that we can think about this, right? There are a lot of ways we can think about this. But that's why in the beginning I broke it down for you guys, hopefully simply. Are we going shift? Or are we going similar? So just focus on the fact that little commentary from the critics, so the critics don't like. And that's what I'm looking for. And what do the crit critics like? They do like challenging. Oh my God, my handwriting. So then I need the opposite of that. So therefore my answer here is B, accessible. And you can see there are so many layers of traps there, right? Because accessible is usually a positive word. So why would you not like something because it's accessible? No, no, because the critics are weird. Okay, so that's our first installment in the vocab series. And I'll be really getting down into the details on the vocab series of how to break them down, especially when we might not have every single word available to us in our vocab bank. Oh, and because you guys have been asking so much, if you guys want to study for the vocab, do Google SAT vocabulary 2400, right? And whatever list you find from that should probably be okay. Because when the SAT was out of 2400, there was a vocab section. So the resources from there do apply. In fact, they are more challenging than what's on the digital SAT. So you'll be over prepared, if anything. Okay. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, study every day with who? Sexy J. That's the best way. You already know. Bye bye.